and the easiest way to think about this is an exchange rate diagram so we have exchange rate of the pound on our y-axis and um, quantity of pounds on our x-axis and then it's just a simple supply and demand diagram now what is the question saying the question is stating there's an increase in the base interest rate and what does base interest rate how does it link to currencies how does it link to ex exchange rate so an increase um, in interest rate how is it going to affect the currency? It's going to lead to an increase in the value of the currency. Now, try to think, why is an increase in interest rate going to lead to an increase in the value of the currency? And that is due to a concept called hot money flows. So, essentially, investors put their money into countries with the highest interest rates. Thus, um, it is, why do they do that? Since they receive more return on the investment. Since um, if one country has a 4% interest rate and Switzerland has a 4.5% interest rate, investors will move their currency, currency out of the 4% into Switzerland, which is 4.5%, since why? Passively, they're getting more money in interest. And, of course, if hot money is flowing into the country, how does that affect the demand for the currency? If you look back at the currency diagram, of course, demand is going to shift out since high interest rates can lead to increased demand for that currency. So demand is going to shift from D to D plus one. And now let's see on this y-axis how this affects exchange rate. So exchange rate goes from ER to ER uh, ER2. So basically an increase in exchange rate, or what do we call what do we call an increase in the exchange rate, an appreciation of the exchange rate 